this may look like a National Geographic highlight, but it was made by AI. While you have probably seen these viral clips of animals diving like Olympians, they are everywhere right now and getting millions of views. But here's the crazy part. These videos aren't filmed or edited by anyone, they're completely fully automated. Today I'll show you a system, how I built this uh, crazy automation and that creates these kind of videos on autopilot by itself. It generates images, converts them into a video and adding a sound effect and that's it and uploads them automatically. Okay, so let's build this workflow. So this workflow is containing four steps and it is easy to make and it's simple as it is. And the first thing that we need to do is adding an edit in form. The form is because we need to tell the system kind of we're gonna give the input that what kind of animal that we're gonna make uh, the video on and what is the height where he's placed. So for that thing, just uh, plus, uh, click on the plus and just write edit and uh, form and just click on it. It will just pop up here and then double click on it. And the title is going to be uh, just keep anything animal diving uh, automation. And then you click on the add form element and then it will come up uh, field name will be empty. Then you have to write animal because we're going to write here the what kind of animal we want. And just uh, check this required field. And same again, uh, just uh, click the add form element and this time write height. But in the element type, just keep it drop down list. And here, four or three options and uh, the, the option one will be 10 20 and 30 and so on and so forth and then after after that you can just click on execute the steps and this is the form that is going to be displayed for you so here we can write animal uh, sorry we can write uh, zebra okay and the height is going to be let's say go for 30 and submit once you submit and it is going to uh, push the results in here okay and after that we have to uh, just kind of uh, we have the information what we want now we need to tell the system that hey generate uh, a prompt for this so for that thing i'm gonna give you this uh, document which contains everything uh, all the apis and you know templates you can download it directly from here and copy the prompts and stuff everything in here okay so for that thing now uh, what you have to do is just click on this complete uh, you know um, prompt for idea generation once you copy and copy this and just paste it in here but here first you have to add the AI agent once you add it just double click on it in the user message you have to drop in the animal and the height as well uh, this will be your input and now just click on the add option as a system message this will be as a system message and then just uh, open it and just place the prompt in here that you just copy it from here okay once you do that here you can just tell the system that uh, I have already highlighted this here in case you want to change because this prompt is only going to generate uh, one prompt for one animal here your task is to generate one unified prompt set per request okay so you can just go type here like three or four like it depends on you okay once you just go ahead and uh, do that and then uh, if you can see here when you double click on it it has this required specific output format just check this one and it will pop up this option tool output parser okay you click on the plus and then you add structured output parser which is already added in here this one and here you need to drop this uh, copy and paste this one this code okay and this tells the system that hey we need uh, the prompt for the image for the video and for the sound okay uh, so it is going to be uh, giving us all these three as a separate items okay then here you have to add the, any chat model of your like so I'm gonna be going with the uh, open router for GPT-40 mini you can see here right if it wants to because it's pinned now uh, then uh, once you do that just click on execute the step it is going to give you the image prompt uh, video prompt and the sound prompt that's what we need okay and uh, now after that now we need to add go we need to generate images to generate images we need to use the <coughs> api for um, any of the models that we can use online but right now we're going to be using the fal ai's api which is going to be you know this fal all right let me just go ahead and do that for you this one i think the fal ai is the best one because it contains all the models that you're going to need so yeah that's the best one and it's uh, very easy to use okay 
but you need to recharge this of Valve. But sometimes they give you like two or three dollar credit, sometimes one, and also they uh, you know give away like ten dollar credit uh, whenever there's a new model, and you can just be kind of updated um, for the news of you know, on the Twitter. Okay. All right. So yeah, once you have it uh, in here, just go to the API keys and then copy this API, generate the API key and then copy and paste it. Just keep it copied and just uh, then come here. And here in the, you have to just add this HTTP request node and keep the method as post. And now comes the first part. We're gonna be using the Imagine 3 and this is gonna be the model because I'm gonna be this time showing you all the models and with the cost and everything. Imagine 3, Imagine or Imagine 3, I don't know so uh, this is a model that we're going to be using and this is going to be costing you five cents per image okay and uh, you can cont it contains all the things in here for the copy it, the APIs and stuff but I have just given everything for you guys directly from here so uh, once you add the HTTP request just keep the method as post and in the URL field just copy and paste this URL and paste it in here and the authentication is generic and then uh, you know generic auth type is the header auth and then here just click on the create new credentials once you create new credentials uh, it will be like this and put the name as authorization and the key the api key that you have to you copy it uh, from here <coughs> from here how you need to you know paste this you have to write key space then this api key you can also uh, get this information in here as well if you can see here it says authorization then key space and then the file key that which is your api key all right you have to do it once and then nothing else because next time you don't need to uh, you know set this up like again we have to only select it you can keep the name here file.ai <coughs> after that uh, just check the send body and here uh, copy this code completely and paste it in here but here specific body should be JSON okay and once you're in there just open it and in the prompt section you need to delete this because it will not be the same in your case unless you're gonna just copy and paste my workflow so in here just copy you know just delete this and drop this image prompt because we are generating images okay here you can change the aspect ratio of images and the number of images you want okay uh, after that you just click on execute and it will give you this status is queue request adding all those things and then we're going to be adding the wait node because it will be still generating uh, the images so add the wait node and in this here uh, we can just add 10 seconds per image because it's uh, fast just keep 10 seconds and execute the step and after that we can just copy this node and paste it in here and double click on it and this time keep the method as get and the URL is going to be this one file AI get images just copy and paste this entire URL and paste it in here and here header because everything will be same so don't need to change it uh, so here just uncheck all those boxes we don't need uh, that you know body headers and stuff just uncheck it and just execute the step but here in your case you might not have this because once you place this URL completely in here so it will not work sometimes because the request ID might be different so the request ID for this one will be from the previous node uh, right now I can't show you uh, because then I have to rerun this again so the request ID will be this request ID just you know drag and drop it uh, in in here when you have it on the left side okay so then you will get this image and let me just show you this image uh, one second okay as you can see here we have got the image this is the image that has been generated okay and all right that's it so after that now we need to generate the videos since we have the image now we need to convert the image into the video so we can just uh, go ahead and do that uh, just click on plus add HTTP request click on it and it will be here and after that just uh, since we are generating the videos this is the file AI generated videos just keep the method as post and the URL with this 
copy and paste the URL in here because this time we're going to be using the Halo this one image to video and you can also see the cost for this the cost for this is going to be 0 0.04 like 4 cents per second so in for 6 second video is going to be like 27 cents so, and this is the you know model that we're going to be using it's image to image standard you can go you can go higher if you are going to using the pro one image to video and that is going to be costing you 48 cents per video that's, that's like double and now uh, coming back to the video uh, we don't need to set up anything here only need to do it just generic auth and header auth and just spell AI is APK which has already been set up that in the previous node and then just check the send body uh, here and go back to this and copy and paste this code paste it in here and in here once you just draw, you know open it up in the prompt section you have to just drop in the video prompt that was generated from the previous nodes which is prompt ai agent you can see here we have a couple of prompts image prompt video prompt just in drag and drop it the video, video prompt here and after that we need the image url image url is going to be the previous url that has been uh, you know generated by uh, the uh, image in the, uh, three uh, node this is going to be the image url just drag and drop it here and uh, yeah and the duration is going to be six seconds this time because every single video can be generated for six seconds you can even turn it to like uh, 10 seconds i'm going to be checking out here so they don't have this uh, 10 seconds so this means they only support six seconds video just keep it six and that's it just click on execute the step and then that's going to be generating a video but generating a video is going to take a, a time here so let me show you uh, if it's uh, text okay this one i have used already um, so it takes like uh, 270 seconds you can see here one of the requests i just did was 273 seconds of a video of this cat all right so uh, just add the wait node uh, and i'll just add 280 seconds and after that you click on execute this step and then after that once it's executed you will have this uh, you know output like in queue and everything so you need to wait uh, for the this but then you have just you have to just copy and paste this uh, create node and paste it in here once you do that and in this time now uh, here method is the get and then you can just copy this URL for the get node and paste it in here okay and then the re rest of the things will be the same and just uncheck the send body and then execute the step and this is going to give you the video url and this is the video url of this let me just open it oh <laughs> that's literally nice okay uh, so yeah that's gonna be the video and it's without sound now we're gonna be adding the sound now since we have uh, the image and since we have the video generated completely now comes the part of the sound so to generate the sound we're gonna be using this MMA audio which is video to video and this is the uh, AI you know the model that we're gonna be using and it is very cheap so you can see the per second cost is 0 0.001 per second so I think it's like uh, I don't know uh, how much that will be that will be like I guess six seconds will be 0 0.006 seconds um, dollars all right so just click on the uh, plus icon HTTP request and then just double click on it keep the method as post and for the generating sound you need to keep you know copy and paste this url and paste it in here and then uh, keep everything as it is just like you did on the in the previous notes and then just check the send body node uh, option and then come back to this and copy and paste this uh, code and paste it in here so once you paste it in here you can see here it has video url and the prompt so in the video url you have to just um, paste the video url from the previous node which is going to be this and the prompt is going to be the since it's a sound uh, model that we're going to be using so we have to add the sound prompt and we have already generated the sound prompt which is going to be here and drag and drop this from here okay 
and that's it and after that you just execute the step it's gonna give you this uh, in queue and it's still gonna take time because it's very fast and then you just add the wait note for like 30 or 20 seconds uh, if I check how much time it takes to um, it takes 16 seconds to generate a one minute video of six seconds so you can just I just add 30 seconds uh, for the you know to avoid errors and then uh, just copy and paste this node and paste it in here double click on it and then this time uh, keep the method as get and URL is going to be this one just copy and paste it in here and here you have to replace the request ID from the previous node you can see here the request ID will be here so you have just you know uh, copy and paste it in here and that will be coming up as request ID and that's it and just everything will be like unchecked and execute a step and this is going to give you the complete final video URL and if <clears throat> this is going to be the final URL you can just go ahead and just check that if we do that and just let's go okay it downloaded the video let's open the video This looks natural and this is the video final video it kind of messed up here i guess it made him like two tails if you can see here that's hot but yeah it's ai so it makes mistakes but you can just uh, go ahead and just come add like a couple of the you know uh, scenes together and just make one video and just post it on youtube but now uh, since um, this is going to be the complete final video you can just go ahead and log this in Google Sheets you can just add Google Sheets node and then add here uh, just connect the Google Sheet I have already given that sheet as well if you need this is gonna be the one it has this and once you just uh, connect it you can just map each columns manually and just keep the row as this just don't change anything in here only the base the video URL video is the last video URL is gonna be this and then execute the step it is going to update this in here once you do that you have the Google Sheets ready and then after that you can add the YouTube node as well I have already shown that in the previous video how to do that how to upload the videos on YouTube so that was it it is simple and it is easy to use and the next video I think uh, if any of my, one of you guys like have problems like executing the workflow you can uh, since we don't have any community yet but uh, I'm always like replying to every single comment. I haven't missed any comment on YouTube yet. Um, I have replied to all of the comments. So just comment any problem that you're facing. I will reply you. I will try to fix the problem. And if not, if it is not fixable over the comments, you can just send me a message on Instagram and send me some screenshots. We, I, I'm definitely going to help you guys. All right. So yeah, that's it. Uh, so like the video and subscribe to the channel and have a good day.